MGF High Clearance Trench Boxes are robust, two-sided mechanical excavation support systems designed to be installed by a minimum 40 to 45 tonne excavator, utilising the dig and push or excavate and lower in place techniques. There are two panel types, a base panel and a top panel. These boxes are normally selected for installing large utility pipes where ground movement is not critical. This guide focuses on a base install. The base unit is generally suitable for trench depths of up to 3 metres, pipe outer diameters of up to 3 metres and lengths of up to 6 metres. Max trench widths of 5.4 metres can be achieved with our standard struts. The high clearance trench box comprises of very heavy equipment and must be installed by competent ground workers only. Certain parts of the following instructions require working at height. Customers must carefully risk assess handling, assembly, installation and extraction sequences to ensure suitable safe access is provided for operatives at all times. For full component technical details and weights refer to the technical file found on the MGF website. During the assembly of the components, it is critical that operatives plan each step and wear appropriate PPE and avoid placing their hands near pinch points. There are different strut types that can be used for the high clearance box base. The standard high clearance 400 series struts or 200 series struts, which require strut adapters. This animation will detail how to assemble the high clearance struts. The high clearance struts comprise of strut ends and rigid 400 series extensions. Assembly commences by first assembling the struts. Lay the 400 series extensions onto timber skids. For safe lifting, it is recommended that suitably rated bow shackles be inserted within two opposing bolt holes on the extension end blades. Connect a four leg chain, ensuring a safe lift. Line up the strut outers either side of the 400 series extension propped up on timber skids such that the bolt holes align. Connect each strut end to the extension using 20 M24 bolts. Ensure extension is orientated so the lifting points are facing skyward and the box is in a standing position. Connect a four leg chain to the base panel handling points and lay both panels onto timber skids with the panel soldiers facing skyward. The high clearance struts are adjustable in height with a maximum understrut clearance of 3 metres, so the underside of the strut is level with the top of the box. Attach a two leg chain to one end of the assembled strut and lower into the soldier on one of the panels. Ensure that the required understrut clearance is known before beginning this process. While the strut is supported, connect the strut within the soldier using four 50mm diameter pins and arc clips. Repeat the operation at the other end of the panel. The panel with the struts in place will have an eccentric load, so the stability of the panels must be addressed in the rams and lifting plan before operations commence. Attach a two leg chain to the extraction points on the panels with the struts attached. Slowly and carefully lift the panel until the panel is securely grounded on the cutting edge and balanced on the outer struts on the opposite side. Connect a four leg chain to the four handling points on the side of the panel. Clutch the chain to take into account the offset load that will be produced when lifting the assembled panels and struts horizontally. Slowly and carefully lift the panel and struts until the panel is hanging parallel to the ground. If the panel is not parallel, then slowly lower the assembly to the ground and re-clutch the chains as required. Lower the assembly into the soldiers on the remaining panel, aligning the outer strut with the required pinholes. With the panel and struts still connected to the four-leg chain, an operative can now approach the panel lying on the ground and connect four 50mm diameter pins and arc clips into each of the strut outers. Insert the pins so they are facing towards the centre of the panel. The assembly is now complete and the box can now be stood up ready for installation. Disconnect the four leg chain from the excavator and reconnect the two leg chain for the top connection point. Carefully pull the upper panel such that the whole assembly rotates around the opposite panel cutting edge. 
MGF recommend chocking in front of the lower panel or anchoring into the ground to prevent the lower panel from sliding. When the panel is in a standing position, it is vital that the assembled unit is on flat, firm and secure grounding. Do not stand the panels on steel or similar materials that may become slippery when wet. The high clearance trench box can be installed using either the dig and push technique or a dig and place technique. If using a dig and place installation technique, the ground should be excavated to full depth. This should only be done if the ground type is suitable and self-supporting. The box assembly will then be simply lowered in place. If using a dig and push install, then the ground should be excavated to a max one meter depth prior to installing the box. The box can now be installed. Remove the two leg chain and connect a four leg chain to each of the panel upper lifting points and carefully lower the box into the excavation. Once in place, the excavator should dig within the box before pushing down on each corner of the box panel in no more than 300 mm increments. Take care not to damage the box. Continue this process, excavating ahead of the panel cutting edges as required, until the box is at its required level. It is recommended to leave at least 200 mm upstand on the base unit to connect safety equipment. On reaching the final depth, it is recommended to fill any gaps between the box and the ground level prevent any trip hazards. Safety equipment should now be installed. Works can now commence 